All right, guys, welcome back. It is 25 February 2022, and we are kind of seeing a sea of green with the crypto markets. Uh, we had a major correction again because we were at about 30, eh, what, 3,200 ETH and about 43,000 BTC, and that all just bam, bottom fell out. Yeah, and I think a lot of it was the Fed. They had an emergency meeting, but nothing really came of that. But that did teach me. I did um, think that was going to be an issue, and I did dump some of my equities uh, in Tesla. And I had the DWAC stock, which made me a few hundred bucks. Got out of that. And now looking at the markets now, I'm glad I dumped those two because I'd be underwater. The one I didn't dump because I was already down 20% was NVIDIA. I still hold that. And it's still about the same, even with all that's going on. But crypto is now inching back up. So that's a good thing. It's still, mm, I don't know what to do with it. I think after all the stuff we've been seeing politically, it may be a smart move to get money out of banks, away from centralization where they can like lock it up and move it to crypto. I don't know. That may be the way to go. Uh, just a foreshadowing of what we saw up north may be coming here with uh, just total crazy government overreach. I don't know. Just a concern. Do you take your cash and start putting it into uh, stable coins, USDC? And, you know, if you go to Voyager, you can get 9% on your money in USDC. Whereas right now, my money's just sitting there getting nothing nothing it's it's criminal that it's sitting there getting nothing so i have to now think about a strategy if i want to put put my uh put my cash my uh my uh money just sitting there to pay bills the buffer and move that over to usdc and just at least get nine percent on it and then it's in crypto and then if i need to i can move it to a hard wallet and uh just keep it from being locked down it's like that's pretty scary that they did that and just kind of show you how tyrannical some of these governments can get it's pretty bad yeah people are gonna go buy silver and gold it's like i had silver and gold years ago and i even in college i had silver and what can i do with that i just sat there i can't do anything with it, it wasn't giving me interest it wasn't giving me dividends it was a, it was, a, it was stupid I, what am i gonna do with silver bars seriously no one's gonna take a silver bar but at least crypto, you can um, take your crypto, you can buy prepaid Visa cards with it, use that uh, to buy burner cell phones if you don't want to have a cell phone, and then you can use that to buy food and, you know, stuff with those uh, prepaid credit cards by uh, just buying them through some of these outlets, just using crypto. It's nice options. It kind of keeps things decentralized. Yeah, they can't lock down your wallets. Anyway, that's on a rant. Just a, kind of a rant today to see what's going on in the markets. Little concerns we have. Uh, did pull out, like I said, some equities. And just because, I don't know. Uh, I kind of watched that guy. I forgot his name. From the um, Big Short. Um, the guy it was based on. He, he kind of, I think, dumped everything. And I think he just has holdings left in CVS. Which uh, he knows something's happening. I don't know, maybe a big bubble's going to burst. And based on everything that's happening right now and the lack of leadership in this world, I don't know, man. It's getting a little nerve-wracking. I just wish crypto would just be to the moon already, show it its independence, show us its uh, benefit. But I'm just worried that I hope I hope it's not a bubble that's going to burst too. And, you know, everyone's left holding the bag, and I don't want to be holding the bag. <laughs> so you just don't know. You just don't know. I thought in this market, crypto would be really high, kind of going against the green of what the um, NASDAQ and NMISD and S&P 500 are doing, but apparently it's not. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So let's get into it today. What are we going to talk? We talked about the money. Everything's coming back up. 38.5 is nice. Let's get above 40 again. ETH 26, I wish I'd get back up. But right now I am mining on Ethermine right here. I got two workers on this guy, only 330 mega hash. I used to have 1.1, but I split them up. I've got 1.1 1 .1 working on, I mean, 331 working on Ethermine, giving me Ethereum. And the other ones I have split over. The remaining 
of the 1.1 giga hash I have uh, on two miners mining Ethereum, but paying me out in Bitcoin. And I like that. I've gotten two payouts, no fluff, just stuff. It just pays it out. None of sudden that stupid uh, GUI, GWI, the gas fee, and waiting, waiting on Ethermine for months just to hit my 50 gas fee, 50 GUI gas fee. And I was just getting a little nervous because I had all this money sitting on Ethermine going, oh my God, is this safe? It became my wallet. And I didn't want to pay these huge fees, so I just kept it at 50 and eventually it hit. And I went, shoot, it just wasn't comfortable. So I originally got into crypto because of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is what it's all about. Uh, that's what I want to stick with. So that's why I kind of migrated half the rig over to two miners right here to mine Bitcoin. And when I get the payout from Ethermine here, I might move the rest of it over to two miners. And here's two miners. And it's mining to a Bitcoin wallet. You can see my workers right here. Four workers. Uh, the big boy, the 380 Ti rig, which is running super duper sweet right now. Super sweet where I have temperatures all below 70. The mem temperatures, since I adjusted that one GPU, are awesome. They haven't really gone above 102. They spike up there for a few seconds. They come back down, but it's not really throttling because the mega hash rate stays consistent about 87, 88. It, before I changed the uh, paste and the thermal pads, the one GP would go up to 104, 106, but stay about 87. Then when I did change it, I didn't put enough paste on the actual chip on the GPU, and oh my God, that thing went up to 110. Boom, thermal throttle went all the way down to 40. You know, it was like boom, throttling, throttling. It was kind of scary. I thought I was going to burn the thing out. So all I did was pop that thing off again. And like I say, once you do it once, the second time, man, you do it like a tenth the time. Take those screws out, give it a little twist, you know, and pull that thing apart. And uh, the thermal pads were fine. So I think when these people are people have issues or anyone has issues with the uh, memory temperatures on some of these 3080s or 3070s, I just think you got to put extra paste or clean the paste off, wipe it down with isopropyl like, alcohol. Just put a nice layer of uh, thermal paste on that chip and reseed it. Make make sure you get a nice thick covering. And I just added a lot more the second time. I didn't care. It oozed out a little bit. I didn't give a crap. Put it back in the rig with the other guys and the thing was uh, 90s. I was like, that did it. It was just the thermal paste. Not really the, not really the thermal pads per se because they look fine, but I did replace, replace them on the one card. And it used up all my thermal pads. I went, oh my God, I need to order a heck of a lot more of these thermal pads if I'm going to replace them. But I'm not going to replace them now because the temperatures are fine. I'm happy with them. I'm not worried about it. And if if I see it get really high, consistently over 100, consistently red, then I will pop that GPU out and just clean out the thermal paste on the chip and add a lot more thermal paste to it. Reinstall, rinse and repeat. Yeah, so that's where I'm at. That's this rig. That is kicking butt. That's doing pretty good. Uh, this rig, the 185, the 181, is my original rig with a hodgepodge of uh, graphics cards. This is my gaming rig, like I said. This thing has been running consistently for over a month. Uh, I'm not going to touch it. And uh, same with this stuff. When stuff is working, <clears throat> when stuff is working for you, don't touch it. Why risk it? If stuff is working, we learn that at work. If your stuff is working in its field and people are using it, do not mess with it. If it's making you money, don't mess with it. Maybe if you have one card, you can have a test rig and you can try stuff, but don't mess with a working rig that's out there, you know, mining coins for you and making you some cash, right? Or some crypto cash, whatever. Oh, and this goes into the recent stuff where someone put out, oh, there's going to be a miner or a hack, a BIOS hack with drivers where you can now get total LHR unlock on like 3080 TIs and get like 115 mega hash on your 3080 Ti LHR card. So people started looking at it, people smarter than me. And they found out it was all a scam and uh, not a good idea. But a lot of people were eager about it going, oh my God, yeah, this is going to be awesome. And again, greed will override your judgment. 
and a lot of people try to download the files and try to install them. Some people did, and they're getting all these virus errors and Trojan horse stuff. It was bad, bad news. So run, 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 Will Robinson, run away. It was all a scam. I didn't even. I, I saw one guy's video on it. He was pro it for a second. Then all the alerts came out. Don't do it. Don't do it. Everyone like within 12 hours said stay away from it. It's bad news. And now I think uh, that guy's GitHub is gone. He had a bunch of YouTube videos pop up the same time, same date, only a couple days old. All this, you know, Insta social media stuff, and obviously a scam. So it could have been the government. You never know. You never. I don't trust anyone. Uh, just to get stuff on your mining machines. Who knows what they're up to? I don't trust them at all. But yeah, that was good. Don't let greed make you uh, make dumb decisions. If anything new comes out, it's like with cars too. Just wait. Let them get the bugs kinked out. Kinked out. Let them get the, uh, resolve all the issues they have with the release of the new product or software. Don't be the first one. So, you know, you wait six months and you say, okay, everyone else is using it. No, re no issues, no virus. No one's, you know, blah, blah, blah. Then you say, oh, I'll give it a shot then. Then it's worth a shot. Let other people take the risk. <laughs> it's not worth being the first to the the first to the trough and eaten and have your uh, whole machine destroyed. Uh, it's just not worth it. So yeah, that's, uh, that all came about that whole topic. There was just about don't touch things. If it doesn't, if it's, if it's not broken, just keep it running. Like these are all working. These bottom two are my laptops. The only thing I did yesterday is go up and I cleaned out the, uh, vent, the fan covers on the bottom. Cause I have them sitting like an a frame, a TP to keep the air dissipating the heat out. You know, it just, it flows better. That's all I did. The things are running fine. And I don't touch this. I'm a big, I'm a big advocate. I'm a big advocate for um, laptop mining. It's just easy. And then you get to use the laptop for work or play or whatever. So it's a, it's a win-win. Whereas, you know, I got these CPU rigs. It's pretty much just a CPU rig. I can't do anything else with it because I just wanted to do CPU mining. Whereas a laptop, blammo, I can just go kill the miners if I want or just leave the GPU on running and I need the CPU to do some work for me. Boom. Easy button. Now you just enable the uh, miner again and I put it back in his configuration on the TP form, TP, uh, yeah, TP position. So it um, airs out, keeps the heat out and uh, or keeps the heat flow better. And then I'm good to go. So yeah, big, big proponent of that. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, let's go look at... I'm using Brave Browser, so that's what that pop-up was, notification. If you click on it, it's an ad, and you get, you get a, a bat, uh, what's it? Oh, I always forget what it stands for. Basic Attention Token. I always, I always call it authentic, Authentication Token, because I think of crypto and certificates and uh, hashes and stuff. Uh, yeah, so you get that. I'd get Brave. It's built on Chrome. Get out of Chrome, and then you can watch YouTube with no videos at all popping up, and any any ads are totally suppressed it's well worth getting brave browser go do it do it now <laughs> all right we're gonna look at ethereum mining profitability blammo oh that is too bright my eyes are frying there is a dark view Woo! thank you so much better all right we're 13 minutes in let's wrap this up real quick so with the crypto correction we are not having a good mining profitability stat look at that that kind of that kind of is not good right now uh let's see ethereum mining profit profitability historical chart mining profitability is 0 0.0375 usd a day for one mega hash and let's zoom in here to three months whoa i don't like looking at that look over here guys holy crap we were at what oh four two oh geez and I am seeing that on my miners my ether mine two miners i was up and then the number of course the balance adjusts accordingly with the price I'm going, my God, I'm barely going to cover uh, the power bill this month, right? So it is going to be that winner of crypto. It may be coming. I don't know. If this doesn't spike back up, I don't know what's going to happen. But talking and listening to the other guys that have been through the, since, been mining since 2016 and earlier, they just say, keep doing it. Just keep mining. Keep stacking coins. Just keep doing it. Don't sell. Because they, they kind of regret they sold because the stuff just shot to the moon, you know, like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah, I had Ethereum at 300 and 200. And then it went up to uh, 1400. I sold. I didn't know. Oh, panic. And I was like, geez, thing went up to 4800 bucks. Geez, just hold. 
you know, again, not financial advice. This is all, this is what I would do for entertainment purposes, man. I don't want anybody listening to me and uh, making big mistakes. All right. So that is it. That's all I want to just have a little update video of what is going on with the markets. Mining wise, I told you the thermal pads are running great on the, uh, the 3080 Ti's rig is working great. All the other rigs are working great. The uh, grow 10 is temperature is awesome. Things are flowing really good and it's even getting warmer outside too. And it just, it just is everything seems to be perfectly tuned right now, like a guitar, perfectly in tune. The only thing I can see if it gets hotter out towards summer is maybe adding a six inch inline fan in addition to the eight inch inline fan I have just to get a little more negative pressure to suck all that hot air out, get it outside, get it out of this room. Uh, that's the next plan. Otherwise, I don't plan to buy any GPUs right now or CPUs. I just going to keep mining for Raptorium and Ethermine and uh, go from there. All right, guys, let me know what you're up to. Post below and uh, let me know what you're thinking, what your plans are. Are you going to keep mining? Are you going to sell your rigs? Are you going to CPU mine? Or are you just going to buy crypto and invest it directly? That's always the debate, too. Do you buy or do you mine? I mean, yeah, whatever. Something to think about. All right, I'm out. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Blammo.